name is JoLynn Payne, and I am the owner and trainer of Rocking Paw Dog Training and Kennel Suites. This is my golden retriever, Ember. Oof. And so Ember is one of my golden retrievers. She is a, a therapy dog. She goes to elementary schools. She also does dock diving and agility, and she does tricks, and she also does uh, scent detection. So she's all around a really talented girl, and so she is going to be your example this, this week. We're following along with our September um, theme of doing a trick a week. So today what we're going to do is we're going to teach spin and twirl. The reason why I have two words for spin is because spin is going to be one direction and twirl is going to be the other direction. That way she has a directional. Now to teach this, I just lure to begin with. I just use a cookie and I teach my dog to go around following the cookie. I click, mark that behavior. If you don't have a clicker, you can use words such as good. And then she's going to get a reward for it. I'm going to fade the lure pretty quickly. So for, this, for us, this one is spin, going from left to right, spin, and then she's going to get her reward. So then the cookie goes away and I'm going to say spin and she's going to get a reward. From there, I want the big motion to go away. So I might do something like this. M, spin, good. And then soon, I would like to have it on a verbal. We do freestyle dance, so I don't wanna to have to be making all of these hand motions all the time, spin. That was not what I asked her to do. <laughs> Come over here. Spin. Nice. There you go. So we, she's got so many tricks in her book. She's like, oh, which one are we doing? So spin is this direction. So like I said, spin is going to be going from left to right. For her, twirl is going the other direction. Don't get your dogs confused on that. Get them consistently going in one direction before you add the second direction. So just by a simple luring, spin, mark it, good, give them a reward, payment, right? We wanna make sure we're paying our dogs. To making a smaller movement, spin, like that. Two, just verbal, spin, nice. From there, then you can work on the opposite direction. You're gonna have to go back to luring and tell them twirl, good job and then use a smaller twirl. Good. This is not her strong suit, but we'll see if she can do it. Twirl. <laughs> she may not be able to do this way. Twirl. She's like, what am I supposed to be doing? Twirl. There you go. Good job. So have fun with this. Remember, don't confuse them. Work on one direction at a time. And you don't even have to use my verbals. You can call it anything that you want to do it. Wind, unwind, whatever you want. Have fun with this.